on today's episode, we're going to pull out the 1-6, drop my diff, and get that reinforced at my buddy Jim's. Hey guys, so today on this uh, cold morning, I'm heading to my buddy James' shop. He's a car guy, painter, welder, fabricator, everything. I mean, if you can dream about it, he's done it. Uh, I'll post his Instagrams below. He does some really cool stuff. So today what we're gonna do is weld in some reinforcement plates into my 4-1 Torsen. Uh, we're keeping the stock drive line for my K-Swap for now since we're not gonna make more than 250 horsepower. So, out of simplicity, we're gonna use that drive line and cost, because it's way cheaper to use what I already have. And under more power, sometimes the relief cut that Mazda put in the Torsons likes to snap. So, you know, for $70 in parts and a couple hours of my time, it's definitely worth the peace of mind to have that reinforced. I know plenty of people that have snapped them making less power than what we're gonna make. So, gonna have some fun with it. Uh, be there in about 20 minutes. I'll take some footage of him welding it up. He's a incredible welder. He's done it before. I've used these plates before with him, so it should be pretty cut and dry. And then we'll get some footage of us putting it back together and that'll be it for the rear end of the Miata.
So here it is, uh, 2012 Acura TSX motor. Uh, it's got 112,000 miles on it. Got it from a junkyard this morning. Uh, it's known good running, there's a video of it. Um, gonna tear out all the unnecessary bits today, like uh, intake manifold, the valve cover's gotta go. Um, really any sort of you know, plastic accessories, the wire harness has to come off. And whatever these broken parts are gotta go. And we're gonna strip it down and get it ready. Uh, not gonna be taking it apart, sealed block. Uh, I wanna be able to just you know, throw another one in, worst case. So we're just gonna do that. I'm gonna put the, start putting the KME out of parts on, like the oil pan, oil pump, uh, their valve cover once it gets here. And then we will uh, make it to the transmission and throw it in. Should be pretty sweet. Looking forward to it. It's a little more than I'm used to taking on. I've never done a motor swap like this, so this is gonna be a uh, a good learning scenario for me, but the results should be totally worth it. So stay tuned. I'm gonna set you up on a time lapse and we will uh, get going. stuff so stay tuned like subscribe hit the notification bell to see the next video and we'll see you completely <laughs> uncomfortable to cover all the gold oh, shit. Oh, my God. oh yeah yeah you good? i think we are good yeah